So now that we've taken a look at basic data types, uh, relational operators, and if statements, let's go ahead and just immediately put those into practice so that you guys can get a good idea of the basic logic and how um, applications work at their core. Um, what we're going to do is start with a new Android project. Let's call this section two. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Uh, the minimum SDK doesn't really matter here, so I'm just going to leave it as it is, as what we're going to be doing is very basic at Java's core. And what you call your activity does not matter either. And this is going to go ahead and create and build through Gradle and create all the all the files that you need for a standard Android application. So what we're going to do is come up here to our Java folder. As you can see, it automatically kind of loaded our basic layout. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just jump right into main activity. So here I actually just want to jump right into it as far as um, let's mess with some basic uh, uh, let's mess with some algorithm operators. And I'm going to go ahead and just declare an integer. Let's go ahead and just call this x and we'll give it a value of 10 and we'll just say int y equals 20 and then I'll just do int a equals x times y. So let's go ahead and actually log this so we can actually see what our answer is and we do that by just doing log D, which means that we are logging um, to the debug. And there are several different types. There's V and, and E and, and other ones. We'll get into that later. Uh, so for now, we're just going to do it to debug. We're going to tag this and just call this section two so that you and you can use your tag, which is the first argument or where I put section two. Um, in order to show which part of your program it's actually coming from. And here we're just going to say the answer is, and then we'll just add A. And so just as our first little test here, we're going to go ahead and run this. And it's going to do its thing and build it. And eventually it'll pop up and ask us which Android machine we'd like to run it off of or which emulator we'd like to run it on. We're going to go ahead and just choose the one that we chose in section one. And we'll just choose the one that we chose in section one. We'll go ahead and unlock that. And so as you can see here, the answer is 200. You can see that our tag shows up right here, which is section two, and that's coming from debug, which is D. Um, but let's go ahead and take this a step further. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to understand how um, how arithmetic operators work. But let's look at this in what you'd want in an actual application you may be building. Uh, let's say, for instance, that we have two players, and we'll just call this player one. 
let's go ahead and change this to player two. And then let's go ahead and, and start working with our if statements here. Um, it's now going to give me errors because I've changed the name of these. But I'm going to go ahead and remove this. If player one is greater than player two, we'll go ahead and just log And just to show you, we can put whatever we want here. Winner. Player one wins. Else if player two is greater than player one, Winner, ack. And you guys see the mistake that I made here. You do actually need to get outside your quotation marks. Um, player two wins. And then finally for our else statement, since if player one is greater than player two, player one wins, and player two is greater than player one, then player two wins. Our only logical statement here winner is it's a draw. So if everything that we did was correct, player two should win. And if we go ahead and just run our application again, And you'll see here that player two wins. Now this might be a good time to cover a specific point and something that you guys already might be asking yourself is, well, this if statement is checking to see if this condition is true. Well, what if I want it to be false? What if I'm looking for something that's false? And in that specific case, what we could do is just put that in parentheses and put a exclamation point in front of it, which means if not player one is greater than player two, and in this case, we'd want to go ahead and just switch these out. We'd want to go ahead and do this for our, for our else if statement here. Oop, I didn't get it put there. And now this should still say player two wins because we're looking for if not player one is greater than player two. In other words, player two would be greater than player one. So let's go ahead and run that. Now you can actually go ahead and check this box here that says use same device for future launches because we'll be using this device quite a bit. And that would save us from having to go through that screen. So here we go, player two wins. Now, obviously we're gonna wanna use the, um, we're gonna wanna use the emulator quite a bit to display our information. However, when you're going through a lot of logic, logging, which is why I'm showing 
we'll be showing you this so often is very important, specifically on larger applications where you could, where it would become very difficult to pin down where a bug has surfaced. Um, by logging continuously, if your application should crash, you can take a look at your last log and tell what was the last thing that happened. So you'll see me do this quite a bit as we go through this course. Um, what we'll do in our next video is get a lot deeper into our logic when you have multiple conditions uh, with various uh, true and false factors, uh, having multiple comparators and things like that. So this was just a very basic overview and we'll get a lot more detailed in the next video.